everybody. Today we're getting ready to head to Clarksville Speedway in Clarksville, Tennessee. This race pays 10 grand to win. It's a one-off event, but we're looking forward to it. I'm feeling really good about the changes we made to the car. We haven't gotten to race it since we made all the weight changes, and I also made some spring changes. So I'm curious to try it out and see what happens. I'm really hoping for a smooth weekend because we have Lakeview next weekend, so it's gonna be a quick turnaround. Trying to get these cars ready week to week is pretty tough. We'll get it done though. I'm gonna be the Lone Ranger on this one. It's about 5 a.m. right now, and we got about a hour drive in front of us, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the road. We'll see you guys in Clarksville. All right guys, we made it to Clarksville Speedway. It took me about nine hours to get here, and we're getting ready to go out for our first round of practice. We'll get one round of practice, one round of qualifying, and then there's a couple B mains before the main event. Hopefully we won't need those. I don't know if they're locking anyone in on time, but I'm gonna go out there and give it a shot. After looking at the track, I'm just kind of hoping that we're close on gearing because it is pretty small, but I think it's gonna be pretty similar to running the bottom of Screven. second car on the track so I feel like I left some on the table but I'm feeling pretty good about the car the weight changes and handling changes we made definitely went in the right direction the car's feeling so much better I just put on a fresh set of tires so hoping we can get a good time I think for this round of qualifying I'm gonna move up compared to where I was at it seemed like the guys that turned fast times were running the high side so I'm gonna give it a shot and see how it works Qualifying the car felt great. I really felt like 
didn't have anything left in it and we ended up second we're getting ready to head out for heat races right now i think i'm starting first or second i know i'm starting front row in the first heat so hopefully we can bring home a good finish and get a solid spot in the main so I should be starting first in the main. It's gonna be 30 laps, $10,000 to win. I'm really hoping we could bring it home. It'd be great for everything we got going on. And I know it'd make the wife happy for sure. It's definitely rough not having anyone at the track. We've been rushing around all night. They've been running a pretty quick show. It's about nine o'clock central time. So I'm hoping we get the race in at a decent time because I got a nine hour drive back home tomorrow. Don't forget, you guys can get some Import Outlaw merch at importoutlaws.shop. Pick yourself up a hat just like this one. We truly appreciate everyone that pre-ordered shirts and stuff like that. Hopefully they'll be in soon. Well, I didn't realize they were doing a redraw. And what that means is that they take a certain amount of starting spots, like say, we'll, we'll say the top eight, because that's how it was in this situation and those top eight redraw for their position for the main. Long story short, I drew a five. Maybe it's good luck because this card number, just hoping stage fright brings me home to that win.
say about last night that race was awesome I just kind of sat back and let the track come to me and the car just kept getting better and better and we were able to bring it home I'm loaded up and heading back to Springfield got about a nine hour drive and I'll see you all back at the shop We made back to the shop. The trip home went really smooth, so now it's time to start getting ready for Lakeview next weekend. That race is going to be $5,000 with the SCDRA series, and I'm really looking forward to it. I always run pretty good at Lakeview, and I'm ready to go back. So my first trip to Clarksville Speedway is definitely one I'll never forget. $10,000 is the most money I've ever won racing. It's almost kind of bittersweet in a way because my team wasn't with me to see it and celebrate with me. I was literally there by myself, but shout out to those of you that came and offered to help me during the feature in case I had a flat. It truly means a lot to me and it kind of took a lot of weight off my shoulders. I was pretty worried about what would happen if I did have a flat. Shout out to my wife. I cannot thank her enough for letting me do all of this stuff. She lets me pursue my passion and my dream, and without her, this wouldn't be possible. I really hate that she wasn't there to celebrate it with me, but she was at home holding down the fort with the kids. But she's definitely gonna be out there at Lakeview next weekend selling shirts and hats, so you guys be sure to come by and check them out. Okay, come give me a high five. Say we won. Oh. <laughs> He tried, but we kind of missed on that one. Shout out to Dustin Carter with Action Graphics. He actually picked up a win in the 604 late model class at Volusia Speedway Park last night. So it was a good night for all of us. Jason Myers with DAM Trucking has been a huge part of this last couple of years. And I definitely wouldn't be where I am without him. k &R Services, Vining Tools, Southeast Performance Motorsports Wiring, Jason Waters Tuning, if you guys need any go fast parts, go to jasonwaterstuning.com and he'll hook you up. But big thanks to all my sponsors for making this happen. I try to make you guys proud every time I hit the track. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, share this thing to a friend. We hope to make it bigger and better this year. Now we only got one thing left to do. We got to mount the check up on the wall. Now it's official. Ow.